Hello, this is Chris Menard. Microsoft Outlook for the desktop has three new features. If you don't have them now, you'll have them soon. Feature number one, I'm on my inbox. There is the flag. I can either left click to flag an item or right click. That hasn't changed, but watch this. When I flag an email, it now has a yellow background, which is pretty cool. Even if I right click and do a different flag, so I'm going to do a flag but for next week. Still has the yellow background. If you clear the flag or complete it, so I'm going to click to complete this one, the flag will go away. So I kind of like that feature. New feature number two, and this one's really simple. If you notice my inbox, the spacing between the messages is pretty tight. The View tab at the top, under the Layout group, it says Use Tighter Spacing. You can sit here and change this, and you can decide how you want it to be. It's, I'm just toggling it. There's no other feature here. You just click. I prefer this method right now, so I'm going to leave it that way. New feature number three is the Calendar item. So I went to my calendar, and I'm in Month View up in the Arrange group. In month view, you never see the times over here to the far left. You will if you're in day, work, week, or week. So let's just test that. There's 8 a.m., work week, five days, and there's day view, but I still have the time. I'm going to leave this in week view just to keep it easy. Let's assume that I have a client in London, it's a major client, and I also have a client in Chicago, because I'm in Atlanta, Eastern Time. You can now, if you go to File, Options, Calendar over to the left, scroll down, there'll be a section called Time Zones. You've always been able to do two time zones, Eastern Time, Atlanta. There is my second time zone. I've already go, came in here and picked the correct time zone for London, in case you're wondering. But there's going to be London. I could put in the client's name if I wanted to, just so you know that. Third time zone, I have a client in Chicago, so they're one hour behind me. You can even swap the order of the time zones, but let's see if it works first. I'm going to click OK. Instead of seeing one time zone, I should see three time zones with labels. There I go. And it shows up again in any view except month view or schedule view. Those are the three new features. One last thing to tell you, so I'm going to call this the bonus round. If you want to, I showed the other day how if you create a new email message, you can use the dictate feature to type in your messages. Close that. Also in Outlook, there is a feature to read your emails. I know you can't hear this. I'm hoping you can hear that. Now, I don't need it to read all that other stuff. So I'm going to stop it. Pause it. You can simply select what you want it to read. So let's say it's got several paragraphs. Then play it. Is it working? All right, that's enough. Everyone have a good day. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Coming up, I'm going to show you how to link LinkedIn with Outlook. So you can see what your LinkedIn contacts are doing while in Outlook. And then also I'm going to cover average, average if, and average ifs in Excel. Those are coming up uh, today's July 24th, probably July 26th, and July this week in 27th or 28th. Thank you.